I got into the cannabis industries in 1994 because cannabis is the crop that has the greatest potential to enhance personal and planetary health. And, you know, especially with agriculture, um, agriculture can be in, incredibly beneficial to the earth and our natural resources, uh, or agricultural practices can be extremely destructive. And so the ma major environmental issues facing the cannabis industry um, in terms of how the industry practices, you know, I break it down basically into, into farming practices, manufacturing practices, uh, and transportation. Uh, you know, so a couple of the biggest issues in terms of farming practices are, uh, are around nutrient management. You know, in the 70s and 80s, when home growers were, were learning how to grow cannabis, the grow book authors at the time advocated for um, massively overdosing your plants with nutrients, especially nitrogen. And so a lot of cannabis growers grew up in with, with, with that in mind, that you got to massively overdose your plants. Um, but, you know, the reason why that that kind of works, kind of works, is because, uh, you know, excesses of certain nutrients lock out others. And then so you need more excesses of those um, to compensate for the lockout that nitrogen may have caused. And also the, the, the myth that massive amounts of phosphorus um, is beneficial for flowering. Um, uh, grows bigger flowers doesn't have a lot of weight when you when you really understand plant nutrition um, and phosphorus um, is is a limited resource you know nitrogen we can always generate nitrogen from from thin air <laughs> uh, that's where most of the nitrogen is that's how the the soil microbes uh, get the the the, uh, the nitrogen from the atmosphere and and give it to our plants so i'm not really worried about running out of nitrogen as far as nitrogen concerned i'm more worried about you know the waste materials uh the waste water of nitrogen which can eutrophy our waterways and and phosphorus unlike nitrogen is scarce it's it, it needs to be mined and so uh, mining that mineral from the ground, you know, is problematic in itself, but the scarcity of it, uh, you know, some experts say we've got anywhere between 30 and 80 years left of our global phosphorus supply. So those are kind of the, you know, so farming practices, you know, nutrient management, soil management are big issues. When you're talking about manufacturing, you know, the issues are around uh, the choice of solvents, uh, waste disposal, uh, packaging, and then you get into transportation. Marijuana in the US, you know, tends to be a local industry by accident due to federal prohibition. <laughs> Uh, where where you know licensees need to stay within uh, state lines, but but hemp and CBD uh, production uh, is now global. So so the transportation issues around moving biomass around um, other other inputs in the industry, finished products. You know we've got shipping going all over the place, all over the world now, and so and so hemp and and CBD kind of face some of the same transportation uh, issues that, you know, any other crop or, uh, or, or goods take. And, you know, now with the, with the price of, of gas and oil, it, it's very hitting home in terms of ec the economics of it, you know, let alone the environmental issues.